Good afternoon, Carl Johnson, Mastermind Traders. It is Wednesday, February 17th, approximately 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, the last time we talked about the market, we were talking about the market being somewhere between 10 and 20% down below some of these highs over here. And the market was pretty darn close, and we can see that with some of these lows. Now crossing through the 20 percentile off of these highs would definitely put us into bearish territory, into a bearish market. Well, we were somewhere between the 10 and 20 percent, I forget exactly where, but we were in that correctional stage and that correction stage would be between the 10 and the 20 percent. So we were getting close, but it never continued downward to put us into a bearish market. Well, interesting enough, what I see happening right now is that, take a look at these long wicks. And they were right around this 1812 level. So does that not look like a big old W pattern? It does. And this area right over here, right around the 1940 level, would truly be the neckline. Now we are also above this trending support level that comes from way back in March of 09 is where it initiated. Nonetheless, it is trading back up above that level. We threw a W bottom here at the 1812 level utilizing those lows and we can see a nice big W pattern. So if it does break up, if it does break up through that 1940, well, that would be breaking the neckline, and we are back into a bullish market. And we are certainly heading that way right now, especially with these three large candles, three days in a row of bullish candles. A nice little gap in between each one of these. Now, it's unusual, I, be, I better not say unusual, but the average, would be when we see these bullish candlesticks or bearish, usually we will see three to five days before it changes direction. And when I say change of direction, it doesn't mean it's to go all the way back to the bottom, but what that could mean is that it could just go back down a day or so, take a day where it's a down day, and then head back up. Now, will that hold true right now? after two days close, I don't know. So let's just see if these three candles will continue and we get a bullish breakout above that 1940 level, or if it just goes up and taps that line, backs back down a little bit and then heads back up. Again, I don't know. This is what the picture is insinuating as far as possibilities. So we could go into bullish market uh, when we cross that line, or at least heading in that direction. All right, going through some of these scenarios, I'm doing this to kind of give you uh, a reading in the market, how to look at some of these charts. Now, while we are looking at the S&P 500, let's go ahead and take a look at what the VIX is doing. We don't see the VIX heading down as much as we see the market heading up. So here are the three candlesticks that are referencing these big bullish days. I would like to see as uh, the, the bearish candle bodies in the VIX be somewhat similar to the size that we see here in the bullish bodies. We're not seeing that size. So the fear is decreasing at a slower rate in the VIX than what the market truly is going up. So this tells me that we might have a little cautiousness in our thinking that this is going to continue bullish, at least not prior to a little bit of a pullback. Just some thoughts. Let's wait and see. All right, you guys, we will see you next time around.